let's introduce a special number called E. And this will be based on the following observation. When you have compound interest, compounding more frequently increases the value of the investment. But but what? Let's look at an example. Q of T equals oh ten thousand dollars in vested at a 2.7% interest rate. And let's look at what happens if we compound once per year, if we compound twice per year, if we compound quarterly. Here's our investment. If we compound once per year, what if we compound twice? Well, we don't see anything. Is there really a difference? Okay, but once we zoom in a little, we see these are different graphs. And this is the graph where you compound twice. It is worth more. That is to say it's higher. Remember that the y represents the value. So it is worth more than when we only compound once. If we compound quarterly, the graph bumps up again. That increases the value of the investment. If we compound monthly, investment gets bumped up more. Compound daily and the investment gets its value, gets bumped up a little more, kind of seeing diminishing returns here. This first bump was pretty significant. This last bump, not very significant at all. What if we compound hourly? Sorry for the break in the video, just reminding myself how many hours there are in a year. 
So let me see. So here we are. Here we're compounding hourly. Here we're compounding daily. You can't even see a difference between them. So we're really seeing very diminishing returns here. If we zoom away in, we can see that the hourly and the daily graphs are different. But at the viewing um, window we started with, they're indistinguishable. What if instead of compounding every hour, we compound every second? Okay, let's type that in. Here are the seconds in a year. Again, I mean, we can't even really see a difference. Here's hourly, here's every second. If we zoom in far enough, we will be able to distinguish eventually that the hour graph and the second graph are different. But going all the way back out to our original viewing window, they just blend together. So, to finish this thought, compounding more frequently increases the value of the investment, but, and now we know how to finish this sentence, there are diminishing returns and there seems to be a limit to how good we can make an investment just by increasing n. In the next video, we'll discuss this further.